Ranger, give me back my baseball bat. Kona doesn't have your baseball bat. I know you took it. Where did you do with it? Where is it? Kona gonna grand slam you out of here. <laughs> Home run, Kona. Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at a Power Rangers Dino Supercharged bad guy. We've got the villain, Game Face. This is a sports themed bad guy who in an episode of Power Rangers, he commanded an army of Vivix that had all kinds of cool sporting good accessories that were uh, super powerful against the Rangers. They had basketballs that exploded and tennis rackets that shot sparks out of them and this crazy explosive baseball bat that the Game Face actually ended up losing and Coda picked up. So our favorite caveman Coda ended up becoming a great baseball player because of a magic bat. The front of the package gives you a great view of Game Face inside. The back of the box has a little bio and a great picture of him. And the bottom shows off all the other figures in this line, including lots of villains and different versions of the Power Rangers. Let's get ready to take this guy out of the package. Here's Game Face out of the package. You can see he's mostly blue with yellow feet and he's got all kinds of cool sporting goods attached to him. He's got a basketball for a head and a basketball net and backboard there. He's got a hockey stick and a field hockey stick, lacrosse stick, and a ski pole as part of his backpack there. And he's got a baseball glove and a tennis racket and a fencing mask, a volleyball, all kinds of stuff all over him. This really makes me think of the Lord Zed type bad guys we got in Season 2 of Power Rangers where he would always take some random object the Power Rangers were using and turn it into a bad guy. Um, as, of, as far as villains go, he's actually less articulated because his head doesn't turn. Most of them at least have head turns. His arms swivel, but they don't come out to the sides at all. So he has a lot less articulation. No elbows. He's got uh, decent hip joints. And then he's got knee joints. So he's a little bit lacking in that area. I guess they spent a lot of money on the paint apps. He's got a fair amount of colors on him there. And he didn't come with any accessories. I'm a little bit disappointed he didn't have his baseball bat because that was a key part of the episode where Coda was using it. But overall, he's a really great looking villain. I think I think they captured his likeness from the show really well. He's got the football helmet chest there with the creepy face inside. And uh, he's just a lot of fun. I was having a hard time finding this guy. And luckily, my friends Ryan and Paul just found him recently. So we could finally review him for you. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And in the comments below, let me know who your favorite Power Ranger villain is.